What's up guys, it's Doll Matter here, and today we're going to be reacting to another Fleekazoid video. So this one is about a game I'm actually probably going to play. I'm really interested in playing this one. We reacted to the, we reacted to the trailer for this game, like, I want to say a year ago. It might have been a year and a half ago. It was a while ago. Uh, and this is Why Space Marine 2 Will Supersize Your Nuts, Space Marine 2 Review. So, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. If you know the 40k lore, this video will probably give you an aneurysm. Spider-Man 2 is a fantastic game with an incredible story about friendship, what it means to clean up your house. And Space Marine 2 is gonna fill you up with so much testosterone, you're gonna grow a third nut. That's spare tire, baby. You know what I'm talking about, Pim. This game's gonna get you going to the gym on a Sunday. This will get your peaches looking like a forest before the McDonald's Dorium <laughs> comes in to add a 400th location. CMJ's jawline, that jaw's folded 1,000 times. That could cut through a sin. You know what's funny? They fuck, so they just announced uh, or, or revealed some stuff for, I, I, I can't remember which game it was. I think it was The Last of Us 2. It was like the the new remastered version of it. And they fucking demasculinized like a bunch of the, the female characters so they actually look like women now. Gender block. And you know how she got that? By playing Space Marine 2 for a hundred hours. And also probably about a hundred hours of Jaws or size. Somebody get a sword and use that thing as a whetstone. Space Marine 2 <laughs> is the antidote to loneliness. The suppression of depressants. The cure for the common man that craves just one moment of absolute victory. So if you're complaining that this game isn't hard enough, fuck off on back to Dark Souls and every other Souls like that comes out every time Miyazaki takes a shit. Space Marine 2 is for the dudes <laughs> that don't have a humiliation kink and need to get their balls stomped on at night because life fucks them enough during the day. They want a fire extinguisher for their pain, not a reward for taking on more. Space Marine 2 is for the dudes that don't care about a 40 hour story about fad gods learning how to live, laugh, and love again. They want to <laughs> extend the endangered species list and hit Man, they really... I, I've not had a chance to play the new God of War games, but I played the original trilogy, and from what I've seen and heard of the, the the most recent ones, like the two that are based on Norse mythology, they really fucking changed it up. I heard they, they gave it the Halo treatment, where if you look at the original trilogy of Halo and Reach to some degree, although Reach did have a bit more of you know the emotional depth to it, the, the original trilogy... There's not much emotion to it, right? It's just mindless going around killing bad guys. The most emotional thing is, like, having to go grab Cortana again, right? You know, the the only emotions is really, like, saving humanity. You're this faceless, big, green guy. And then, yeah, they, they try to get way too much into Master Chief's fucking backstory and shit like that after, which to some degree is cool, but they, got, they got, went way too emotional with it, and it's just... It's kind of gay. And, yeah... I've I've heard they did the same thing in God of War, and I'm 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 I want to play those games, but I'm also kind of a little hesitant because of that. His name, Space Marine Two, is for those that know. <laughs> <laughs> First up, let's talk about the story and lore. The story in this game is incredible. I was locked into it just as much as the first game. And that is to say, I was not paying attention at <laughs> all. Listen, I don't need to know all the details. I don't care why we do what we do. I can't wait. I sweat loyalty and I shit service. The emperor calls, I answer. That being said, <laughs> the, the pacing of a booger sugar binge, the length of a Colombian marching powder rail, the lines go harder than ever, and I'll never miss an opportunity to butcher lore. Quick, strap down the lore goblin before he can get away. We play <laughs> the ancient saints of loving what they do and hating who they do it to. And in this game, we are part of a Roided up pest extermination squad. The Perkathon is on, and we're killing bugs, 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 and the occasional disgruntled former employee. Because in 40k, HR is HK. Got a problem with how the Emperor's running things? Well, I have a problem with you running. Let me take a look at those legs. <laughs> it, good, then dig this. I'll answer two more questions. First, you may be wondering, why are we killing all these bugs? Look around. Every game out there nowadays is cats or dogs or something you can pet, but notice how this game has none? And that's me. 
because the Xenos are eating our dogs. <laughs> and Leondros' rule, Bubbles is now barbecue. Fleek bitch, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Barbecue Bubbles, that's what we call them. Second, many people ask, what the fuck's a space marine in the first place? A space marine is what happens when you force a man through hundreds of years of TRT, then make him take an oath of no bitches. They also <laughs> have way too much testosterone and crippling ED, making them the newest entry to the literally me genre. They are <laughs> <laughs> they are the militaristic middle ground between human wave tactics and fuck it, let's nuke the entire planet. And this middle ground is often required because when guardsmen are deployed, their life expectancy can be tracked on an hourglass. Some people get 15 minutes of fame, Imperial Guardsmen get 15 minutes of life. <laughs> you really oh shit, there goes another one. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Let's talk about gameplay. The combat has gotten even better than the first one. As soon as you boot up this game and get that first chainsword takedown, that third nut's gonna drop like Ubisoft stock. Beat the game and you might just collect all the Dragon Balls. Space Marine 2 plays like a dopamine fired soul train. You boot it up and it's hard to hop off because it has so much momentum and the core combat is so much fun. And you keep wanting just one more takedown, just one more mission. Just one more Fuck yeah. eating, fuck sleeping. You know what? It's got that like Civ 6, just one more turn. Right? That, that kind of energy. That's good. When, when, when a game is hard to put down, that's when you know it's good. Right? The, the the worst thing is like when you play a game and it feels like you're doing fucking chores. Which I feel like so many games have gotten like that, especially these games as a service games, right? You 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 they, they capitalize on your FOMO and you don't want to miss out on stuff. And so you play it, but you don't play it because you want to play it. You play it because you feel like you have to play it so that you don't miss out on the stuff. And I, I wish honestly you know what the best battle pass system I've ever seen was? is the fucking Halo Master Chief Battle Pass system. One, first of all, they're free, which that, that part's not really that big of a deal. Uh, I wouldn't even mind if they costed money. But the best thing about the Halo Master Chief Battle Pass system is once they come out, they're there forever. And you can decide, like, you, you get your points to buy stuff from the Battle Pass, and you can decide, oh, I want to buy stuff from the Season 1 Pass, or, you know, I want to get this from the Season 7 Pass. Like, you can just get it whenever you want. So you never have that FOMO, right? You can stop playing that game for four or five months, come back, play for, you know, a couple days, a couple weeks, whatever, you know, you, you decide that you want to play it again, and then leave again for a couple months. And it's, like, perfectly fine because you never have that FOMO, right? Even the few items in the, like, their version of the store, it's, it's all free. You buy it with, like, in-game currency that you can only unlock, you can't actually purchase. Um, they're constantly rotating in and out, right? So it's, like, even the stuff you might get, like, FOMO for, you don't really because it's like ah oh, yeah I might just have to wait until it comes out another week what you Best can't system. do while you're eating coal in the soul train to run over a hundred bugs you know what you can't do while you're sleeping evaporate your enemies by running through them who needs dreams when your reality is a power fantasy rim sleep bitch I got a rimming ton the emperor needs you brother are you man enough to answer the call oh, please no rejection of this call will result in death I mean yeah. death also this is not a toll free call you're gonna have to pay that too a big reason for why this combat feels so good is because space marines are the embodiment of impact space marines Marines are big, chunky, 600-pound, muscle-bound Bible thumpers. They run slow, hit hard, and they leverage roid rage to hit even harder. You see a horde, you feel bad for the horde. Yes, you're incapable of taking cover because you are the cover. It still plays like the bastard child of God of War and Gears of War, but now you get even more toys like parrying, yoinking, counter like shots, game, and to dodging honest. to help set up even more takedowns. Yoink. Which takes us into the next thing that puts Space Marine 2 above the ever-increasing amount of bug-killing games, Takedown. Does that one bug keep annoying you? The difference between Helldivers and Space Marines is that Helldivers will kill that bug, Space Marines will annihilate them. <laughs> Takedown. That's what annihilating Takedown by yeah. Takedown Shut the fuck up, Ashley! New Fleet's talking now! Current Fleet's talking now! Rip it in half! Rip its face off! Rip out its face! <laughs> shake him ten times! Systematically disassemble every last cell in that thing's body! If your nuts don't tingle just looking at this, uninstall them! Double it and give them to the next guy! Sure, there's a joy in killing it, but there is an <laughs> The absolute... fucking ash cheeks on his fucking Helldivers character. Is that a mod or is that something you can actually do? 
climax in Annihilation. Especially with all this Ministry of Love, please. Look away for a second. Especially with all this gore. This is like one of Quentin Tarantino's wet dreams. Without the feet. Without the feet, Ministry. Keep looking that way. Why do we need so much gruesome graphic violence? Why not let us... Because it's so much fun, Jan. Get it? You <laughs> weapons, starting with the melee. You got the power sword. You got your power fist. You got your power hammer. But you know why they don't have to call it a power chain sword? Because they don't need to convince you. They don't have to slowly <laughs> program you just to take a spin. Catch one of these Xenos on your blade and you'll see the power. It's reliable, it's brutal, and when your gore system looks like this, it's the only way to go. Guns-wise, surprisingly, the plasma weapons in this game are pretty good. But they are still plasma weapons, so fuck every last one of them. I don't want I agree with that. What is it with plasma weapons in every game fucking sucking? Like to bring, bring up Halo again. Plasma weapons in Halo are like... With very few exceptions, way fucking worse than any... Like, all the alien weapons, all the covenant weapons, are almost always way worse than the fucking human weapons, right? There's a few exceptions, like the brute shotgun's pretty good, the jackal sniper rifle's pretty good, the needler, depending on the game, is usually pretty good, um, the carbine's pretty good, but, like, a lot of the plasma weapons in that game fucking suck cock. In, like, all of the Halo games, right? The best games are just projectiles. I don't know why it's so hard to make a good alien weapon. I guess maybe they're just worried about it. If you make it good, it's too overpowered. But, like, wouldn't that make sense, right? The, the civilization is supposed to be, like, thousands of years ahead of us in technology. And yet, somehow, they're fucking... They have these garbage-ass weapons that are, like, worse than bullets. Wait in line, I don't wait for my turn to speak, and I don't wait for marriage. If I go to the airport and my plane isn't there, I leave. I won't be disrespected like that. Henceforth, <laughs> I don't wait for my gun to charge up because it does good damage, because it's better than every other pistol. I refuse on principle. And the heavy <laughs> melter gun and the heavy melter gun are the only guns I recognize now that the storm bolter didn't make a return. See a horde coming your way? What horde? Cute damage numbers. I am God. Also, the melter gun's broken in a very helpful way that I'm not gonna say because the haters will sabotage me, but I'm gonna hint that it's on the screen right now. And Saber, if you fix this shit if I, after after my elite high tier commendation of it, I swear to God. Ah! Another fantastic thing about this game is the set pieces. Now, I hate to get all Hollywood on you. You get all flaccid, start talking like someone who yanks it to master classes. But the set pieces in this game are awesome. There's armies fighting, tanks rolling, bombs dropping, bodies burning. You have to do an escort mission, but you're not escorting some damsel in distress. You're escorting a damsel causing distress. A big old mechanized beauty. I think I feel fourth night. Coming in. With how many bad open world games we get these days, I forgot just how alive a nice custom tailored linear action game can feel. But what isn't alive are these AI teammates. And I'm just. And that's actually so true. Whatever happened to. I feel like there's there's no in between now. And you. Like. There's either the games where it's barely a fucking game, it's a walking simulator, right? And some of these are super popular, and I don't understand it, right? Probably the most notable being The Last of Us, where you're just walking a straight line. That's it. Um, and, and Or the other option is like the fucking Assassin's Creed clones where it's like this open world with like a billion mini objectives to do and, you know, not linear at all. And not linear in not a good way. Um, and, and it seems like those are like the only two genres of AAA game now. And, and you really have like these, like ones that meet in the middle and do anything good with it. I don't know why, but they just don't exist anymore, or rarely exist anymore. I'm just gonna ever so diplomatically say, what the fuck, and then submit to you the following evidence. Yeah, get him, Bulwark, get him, Bulwark! Now, now get that tech set, where are you going? <laughs> Right about now, let's say you've bought Space Marine 2, ensured the continuance of your bloodline, but the game finished before you did. What now? Let me <laughs> go to the PvP mode. <coughs> just kidding, never mind. This mode's actually pretty fucking shit. Let me introduce you to the... Wow, what a bad mode. One of the worst. So bad. Let me introduce you to the PvE mode known as Operations. This is my shit asterisk. Not only do you get more missions, but you get more customization. It's like oh, Orby, cool. but for big strong manly tough guys like you and I. Brother, does this red make my space my cheeks look big? But all you in advance, customization comes with a risk. You may choose yellow because it shows off your cheery personality, but welcome to Warhammer 40k where that means you gun down civilians for fun. You may choose black because
because you want to look cool, but that actually means you have no dick and no balls. That's right, the Black Templars engage in Dick Chopicus Offertorium. Now, do I that? <laughs> Hell no. But if enough people repeat it, it'll become a fact. Think you can get around the accusations by going dark gray? Well, now you're in the most racist space marine chapter in the universe. I chose purple because I wanted to be a pimp marine, but then someone told me that means I'm a turncoat that betrayed the emperor to get some slanussy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll just wait here for the Slanesh to come pick me up then. And if you really want to have a good time, mix and match the colors using each one to represent a different heinous crime you like to commit. Man, you know what? I, I actually hate... If, if people want to do just their own character or whatever, but I... I we've been doing those, uh, the Grim Dark Narrator videos where it's like the Warhammer 40k lore on, like, these obscure, uh, factions of Space Marines, these obscure chapters. And some of them are, like, 50-50 split down the middle, like, one color or another. And it looks so fucking stupid almost, like, almost every time. There's a couple of them that look pretty good. But 95, 98% of them look just so bad. And I have no idea why they designed them that way. Admit better yet, maybe you like to commit them all, and in that case, put the whole rainbow on your oh arm. Oh, God. Something you're open to anything. Now, as fair warning, the PvE does introduce leveling and class systems, and this does change the dynamic a bit because you have to constantly up the difficulty to upgrade your gear, and that's gonna throw off the power fantasy until you can get that gear. So, whereas the campaign's entirely this, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was too fucking easy. Run that back, run that back. I wanna kill that boss again. Operations mode is more like this. One bullet, one bullet left. Anyone. Thank you for dying. I'm, I'm here to give you a big old hug. Thank you for dying when you did. Thank you for dying when you did. I appreciate you. I appreciate everything that you've done for me. But the takeaway is <laughs> don't play this mode. It should be don't play this class in this mode because assault is ass. It's in the name. His special ability is dying. You know what? Let me spoon some wisdom on you. Here's your definitive guide to classes. You ready? Vanguard's like playing as an overweight cloaker, but at least you get all your weapons. Bulwark's the class you play when Vanguard's taken. Tactical's like playing as Titus minus all the good secondaries in rage mode. Assault and Sniper's like playing is the Make-A-Wish Marines. Your teammates are just happy if you're alive. And Heavy is a class you don't think about at all until you see him at the top of the leaderboard for most kills and most damage done. Alright, maybe not definitive. But I got the shit on Assault one last time, so it was worth it. And if you disagree with me, then I disagree with you, your bloodline, and your entire home world being alive. Exterminatus, bitch! <laughs> Man, who's this cover by? It's actually pretty good. <laughs> loser Leandros loves this mode because he can lose even more. That loser, what a loser. We could have been so good together. We could have lived this forever. I'm pretty sure it's a parody cover, but it actually sounds really good. <laughs> thanks to the Imperium of Pimps for funding this video, and another huge thanks to all the pimpers for expanding the Exterminatus Fund. I will see you all for another video very soon. All right, goodbye. 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 <laughs> Man, it's so weird. The last two videos we watched, the first two videos that he uploaded, that, at least that are still on his channel, and after going from those to this, it's like fucking whiplash. You go from, like, we were watching the more recent Fleek videos, and I got asked to check out some of his older videos, so I went and checked them out. And it's like, what the fuck? This is so different. Somebody was saying that he used to be a, like, uh, it was him and his brother, and they were trying to do, like, a tips and tricks gaming channel. And then, yeah, uh, to come back to what I think of as regular Fleek is just fucking just wild. But anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.